guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my pan in everything. Pretty pan. We also call it pie because P-I-E, pie. Why not? We use that hashtag at least in our videos and on Instagram. So you should definitely check that out if you want to see more of these kind of videos. I'm doing this as a collab with a bunch of lovely ladies. They are here on YouTube and Instagram as I just said. And they are absolutely amazing. So you should definitely check them out. Personally, I love hitting pan on products. It is so satisfying to see that shiny pan. I do love finishing off products as well. But there's nothing more exciting to see shiny pen through the product. I chose four products to work on at a time and I'm pretty happy about my progress so far because I have had a pen for every single update. So far we have only, this is the second update, but that is really exciting that I can hit, hit a pen for every update. So let's just get into the products so we can go ahead and talk about them. And I will talk about the most exciting one because I hit a pen for this update as well. That pan comes from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow palette. I need to remember what it says because the writing is off now. So for the last two months I have been working on that shade right there. It's a pinky highlighter but it is a beautiful blush topper and if you mix it with a kind of lighter highlighter like this one it creates a beautiful highlighter. How many times can I say that? But yes, I have hit pan in that one, so that is really, really exciting. So let me just tell you now what I am going to be working on from now on. It also comes from this palette, and that is the highlighter besides it. This is the one that I have been using lately. It is the one that I have on today, actually mixed in with this one up here. But I am going to focus on this highlighter down here, and I'm pretty excited about it because it's actually really beautiful. I actually thought it was going to be too dark because I am pale as a paper. I'm so pale. But my best friend, who is also pale as paper, just like me, loves that highlighter. So I was like, that should be working for me too because we have the same kind of skin tone. And she has actually a massive pan on that highlighter. So she must really love it. And she gave me this palette in a birthday present, I believe. Uh, a few years ago. So I'm really excited to be working on this palette again because it's beautiful and it's beautiful quality. I have heard some say it is bringing out the texture on your cheeks. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I love it. It's cheap. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go in with my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette. And I am working on the banana shade. Last time I rolled out this one because I hit a little bit of pan. Now I have massive pan because I am still mixing it with the yellow shade. Which has some wear. I can't see the rings yet. But I believe I can see the rings by next update. But I don't use a ton of it because it's very yellow. And as I said, I'm pale. I don't have my watch on. I have a ring on though watch. Need to remember that. Okay, so the yellow shade. I am chugging along. I am wearing it today with some other light things. <laughs> but yes, I am setting my under eyes with that shade, including some other shades. Because I'm pale. This one has been in from the beginning as well. It is my MAC Blush Pro Longwear Blush in Make Your Mind. I am wearing it today, mixed in with another blush that I'm panning. I'm mixing everything. You should know that if you follow me. But yes, here we are. I don't think... Can you see the dip? Maybe you can. There is a dip. It's small, but it's there. And I love this blush, especially for winter time. So I really, really hope I can hit pan on this blush before spring comes around. The goal, obviously, is to hit pan. But before springtime, I would love to hit pan on this. Because this is also getting old. 2014, I think. Maybe I can get away with it in the springtime as well. But I do think it is going to be too dark in the summertime. It's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Um, especially not when you are this pale as me. So, that's that. <laughs> Last time I rolled in an eyeshadow from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar that I 
was trying to pan last year as my panda palette so that is why it is looking very used this is how my palette looks like i'm covering up my franken shade because that is in another project that is going up the finale is going up in a few days so i don't want to spoil anything but i am working on semi sweet right there i don't know if you can see the dip that is forming a little bit maybe but i am using that shade so much i am using it as a base shade for my lid color so i pack this on after my crease shade and before my lid shade so it it gives a darker look but i actually quite like that i have it on my lower lash line today so there's a dip i'm pretty excited about it because that that shade is so packed it is so hard to use and see progress but i can see the massive dip so i hope you can as well but yes that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see more of these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel down below. I do a bunch of project pants and I'm so excited to start new ones next year and that is already in a week or something, which is absolutely insane. But there are lots of other ladies in this club that you should definitely check out the link down below as always and if you enjoyed this video give it a like it will mean the world to me and until my next video please take care bye